if you've taken a template online and you just literally change the coach's last name in that email, they know because they wrote the template. You know, right. I hate to break it to all these parents and kids when they're looking at these templates that they can write. Most of these templates have been written by college coaches or ex-college coaches, and it's just as easy for them to Google college coach email template as it is for you to do that. So when you're reaching out to coaches, if you're not personalizing any of your emails, that's gonna kill you. You, know, you need to be reaching out, you need to be proactive, you need to be actually taking the time to research the school. Hey, I'm interested in your college because I wanna study this, I know that you have a strong academic program for this. I think I would be a great fit here. I can see these these players in the last you know three years have all graduated with these degrees, and I think you know I would be able to learn a lot from them as we progress through the you know the recruiting process or progress through if I if I am successful. I know that there are guys on the team that I can turn to, you know little things like that, and and you you will find that such a small percent of players are ever going to do this research and it takes 10 minutes you know i mean on our website you can do it in literally 30 seconds you can find out the popular majors and then you go to their website and you find out right these are the the, the players and this is what they study so again when you're reaching out to these coaches personalization is key email is great um, if you are doing it don't do it from a recruiting service email. Uh, if you are going to do it from, you know, Joe Blogs at you know recruitingcompany.com, it just gets deleted straight away. We did some surveys. Uh, I think it was, I think it was late last year. We did some surveys. Eighty percent of college coaches, and at the time we had about three hundred and fifty, and eighty percent of those coaches turned around and said that they will delete an email if it comes from a recruiting service on behalf of a player. Right. So if you are reaching out through email, not only are you fighting with the hundreds of emails a month which are coming in from you know other recruiting services and other recruits that if you are doing it from a recruiting company you have an 80 percent chance of that email getting deleted right so when you're looking at you know the open rates perhaps there's better ways uh, on the flip side of that three quarters of college coaches say that they receive less than one phone call a week from a recruit would it be because they're scared would it be because it's they're not common they're terrified you know terrified. players don't want to call college coaches Recruits don't want to call college coaches. Most kids that are at that high school age group, they text, they, right. they Twitter, they Snapchat, they, they Instagram, they DM each other. You know, there, there isn't that real phone communication that really happens anymore. And I, mean, I, think, I think when you're looking at that, you know, there's such a few percent of players that ever pick up the phone and call a coach and say, hey coach, you know, what do I need to do to, to be recruited by your school? And if you are, you know, if you're playing in a very small league and you're looking at, you know, you have a 2.0 GPA, don't call a Stanford coach and say, hey, what do I need to do to be at your school? Because the chances are that that's not going to necessarily be realistic. And that comes back to something that we talked about in other episodes when we've talked about being realistic. So again, if you're being realistic and you're reaching out to these coaches, email, great way. You just got to make sure you're personalizing the emails. Get a subject line that's going to get these guys to open the email. You know, just... Chris Roach recruiting information, chances are not going to be opened. You need to have something that's going to you know, entice that, that coach to open that email. Um, phone calls, fantastic way of doing it. you just got to make sure that they are going to actually answer the phone, which is, you know, you know, some coaches aren't always as proactive as answering the phone, and some players are just scared to make those phone calls. Right. Third way that we've seen is actually using our direct message feature, which we've actually interestingly seen significantly higher open rates from the college coaches because they're not receiving 500 emails or 500 messages a, a month from, from recruit you direct messages because you have to actually connect with them. So it's more of a one-to-one -one relationship on our platform than we've seen with just email blasting and things like that, um, which I think is why we've seen a, a higher open rate on, on all the messages that are being sent, both from the coach to the player and also from the player to the coach.